And right now, we will be reacting to... I need to move aside so you can see. Vigo, Vigo, Vigori. Official trailer from Gamescom 2020 was released well, a week ago, August 29th. Let's take a look. Bohemian Interactive. That's a very Fallout esque deal to it. The war. But will you survive Norway? Encounter others. But remember, the Outlands are dangerous. Your hands. Outlive the apocalypse. Spider Man! Alright, is there anything else for to follow up? No, just some. Oh, Nintendo Switch, okay. We play free? Dude, check this out. Okay, so you can play a Vigo on. Uh... I think I said Nintendo. I got the Gamescom thing. It's quite in a, it's in a quite bad position, so you can't see behind it. But it says um, uh, Nintendo Switch September twenty third. Play free. So big team, big team. But uh, the earlier copies. So it's available on PS four November twenty fifth and PS five on the holidays twenty twenty. So it's coming Christmas time. It looks really good. Actually, it looks really fun. I'm not big like. I'm not, I don't, what I'm trying to say here, what am I trying to say here? I think the graphics are fine, they don't need to be the this extraordinary thing, like you can see, uh, it's a little hit and miss in some places, I think, in terms, of, in terms of character models at least, the environment themselves look very nice, very, very nice. Um, really getting Fallout vibes from this in general. I'm not sure why it was. Is this like in Norway or something? Because of the, uh, the flag at the back. Not sure. Maybe he's just from. Maybe he's from Norway. He likes uh, to represent his country in Apocalypse. I don't know. Maybe it's different maps. Who knows? Uh, I'm assuming this is a. <clears throat> is this a single player or multiplayer? Um, could be both. Maybe there will be a storyline to it, or maybe a corp storyline. Not sure. Um, and then potentially there is a multiplayer, but from from the look of it, it seems that you go through a single player campaign, um, just interacting with other factions, what you want to call it. And you find cash or weapons and whatever. You can build your own house, which I find really cool. There is very few games that allow that kind of um, um, personalization in games. Like I'm guessing this is uh, can be. You know, changed and stuff, adapted to how you want it to look, etc. Um, yeah, this this house building mechanic, I think that is so cool. Right, I think it's about here. Look, that's awesome. And I wonder if it's going to be you're going to be able to um, build your own kind of thing of how you want it to look, or is it like presets back in? What was it Skyrim? I think where you could be like, oh, I want to uh, the kitchen, and uh, there's. I want to buy a kitchen, right, or whatever. I want to buy a study or whatever. And then it kind of just defaults to the pre-build. So I don't know, but... I mean, it looks fun. It looks interesting. It looks quite similar to... Oh, what was it? State of Decay, I want to say? Just less zombies. It's like State of Decay and Walking Dead. More people, less zombies. I'm guessing similar feel to it. Looks good, though. Looks quite fun. Um... I wonder if it's going to be in the PS Plus and also whether this is interesting, right? And the reason why I find this interesting is because they've got PlayStation, right? So for now, it'll be PlayStation exclusive until Switch gets it. Now, my question is, will it be then sold? Will the license be sold to Microsoft as well? So you could play cross-platform across different consoles and potentially PC, of course. Um, I think it looks like a fun game though. I was I really would love a open world game with interactive content such as building a house, building a faction from you know um NPCs in game. It almost kinda want the experience of 
something like open world fallout well basically fallout but more um more walking dead style if that makes sense so almost like all the features that are in fallout like you know building settlements interacting with different factions growing reputation within those factions and but it will be like in a zombie kind of environment i think that would be really cool and a big big seller but yeah uh looks like a fun game actually i'm down for it <laughs>